quick revision video on how to use a redox titration to establish the mole ratio in the overall equation. So we're going to use this question here from an old past paper. It was worth seven marks. So if you want to pause the video, have a go at that, and then play on when you're ready for me to go through the answers. So as you know, I'm a fan of these diagrams just to try and help visualize what's going on in the um, question. So they've taken some vanadium and they've dissolved it in acid and it's turned the V into VO3 minus. They've then taken that and reduced it. They don't specify the reducing agent and they've reduced it to VN plus. And obviously we've got to work out the value of N here. So as a process, there's that sequence there, V with the H plus to VO3 minus, going to VN plus. Now the important thing here is the moles of V there are going to be the same as the moles of VO3 minus there, which are going to be the same as the moles of the VN plus there. So all the moles here, here, and here are the same. Obviously, when they take the 10 cm cubed out of there, you've only got a fifth of the VN plus going into the titration flask and then obviously we've got the titration taking place. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the moles of vanadium mass over MR so it's that many moles so like I've just said same moles of VO3 minus in there same moles of VN plus in there and a fifth of the moles in there. I'm just going to park that there for a second and now we're going to deal with this information here. So the moles of MnO4- are those, so that's from concentration times volume. So now we know both of the moles, whereas normally in a titration you don't know, say the moles in the conical flask, you're going to use the ratio to get them. Well, we know both of the moles, so we're going to use them to get the ratio. So all I'm going to do is divide the moles of Vn plus by the moles of MnO4 minus, we get this 1.67 to 1. In other words, they are reacting in a 5 to 3 ratio. So there's obviously 5 lots of that to 3 lots of that. So because of that, we know from the equation they supplied that there are 5 electrons involved in the MnO4 minus half equation. So there's going to be 3 involved in the VO3 minus to Vn plus. So N's got to be 2 because V started at plus 5 in VO3 minus. So for the equations, what I'm going to do is build the two half equations. Well, one of them was given to us. Build the other one and then combine them to get the overall equation for the titration. So we've just worked out that V was in V2 plus, And in the titration, it gets turned back into VO3 minus ions. So the way I'm going to do this is with H plus. It's the easiest way to do it. So we're going to need three waters to balance those three oxygens. That's introduced hydrogen, so I'm going to use six H pluses to sort them out. And then looking at the overall charges for the electrons, we've got two plus charge overall here. But at the moment we've got one minus six plus, we've got five plus. So we need to bring five plus down to two plus, so we need three electrons. So that's confirming what we've already established. We were given that one, so now when we combine these, we need the electrons to disappear. So if we multiply the top one by 5, the bottom one by 3, that's going to get the electrons both up to 15. They'll drop out, and you can see that's going to give us the ratio we're after as well. 5 of those to 3 of those. So when you combine the two half equations, you get that. Obviously, I've got rid of the electrons now because I know they're definitely going to cancel. And now I'm just going to cancel down the waters and the H pluses to the final equation, which gives us that. 